Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is another video where we look at the settings app in Windows 10 and this time we look at a setting that has to do with printers and scanners. So if you have a printer or a scanner or a combo, uh, it's there that you'll have all the information about what is available and how to you know get default printers. Sometimes you might need to choose it. So go into your settings app, either by the bottom right in the uh, quick actions or the start menu, go into the settings gear. There you will want to go into devices and on the left side you'll see printers and scanners. Here, if you've plugged in something, you can actually click the plus button and this will actually search for anything that is plugged in either USB you don't have to necessarily have it USB. If it's a Wi-Fi printer, it might actually uh, search for it and find it if something's available. Now, then you'll have the list of everything that's installed. So here I've got the Epson uh, scanner printer that I actually use, the 2750. So you have uh, this one here at the top. You have one that says network. So typically what you do is you leave the computer uh, deciding and choosing. So the reason why there's two here is simply because the way that it detects, it can detect it in several ways. Every time it detects a printer, so mine is a Wi-Fi printer. So if it detects the printer in one way, it gives it a name, gives, it finds it in another way, it gives it another name. You can of course manage this and remove what you don't want. So when you have a printer, you can click on it and say, uh, remove device. And that what's going to happen is going to actually remove it. You can also manage uh, the device. So there's things like print a test page. You can run a troubleshooter. You have printer properties, printing preferences, and hardware properties that are all available that give you different types of information. Usually what that does is open up a utility that your printer has installed on your computer to give information. But some of it is also within windows depending on the printer you're using it also gives you a status so for example on some printers you'll have offline online it's going to tell you if it's ready to work or not so that's also something you might want to check and of course you can open the queue in here is where all the printing happens if for some reason for example your printer doesn't print sometimes you might want to look at what's happening in here and see if you know the printer isn't uh, in a, um, um, it is, if it's in pause, for example, you might see pause printing sometimes when paper jams, for example, it might autom automatically go to pause the printing. You can update the driver. You could set as a default printer. So if you have a specific printer to actually had as a default, you can go here, uh, open Q and you can go to printer and say, Hey, set as default printer. This is always the one that I want to use. So there's all of this that is available. Of course, you could print test page and so on. Like I said, it tells you the printer status at the same time, which here is idle. Uh, and of course, all the different devices will show up here, including print to a PDF and so on, depending on what you have installed in software. Some will actually have virtual printers of different types. So for example, here, Microsoft print to PDF is a virtualized way of printing, but in a PDF file. Then you'll have let Windows manage my default printer and you can download over metered connection for the different drivers like you could on the Bluetooth and other devices tab. So all of that is here and uh, the information is available through here on this page if you have a printer. Remember, if it doesn't show up, if it's not showing up properly or doesn't work, you might need to go to the manufacturer's website and download the utility from the manufacturer to actually install it before it actually works. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.